Hello and welcome back to my channel where we unlock the secret to a successful future. If you are a student or a parent trying to navigate the maze of career options after school, you are in the right place. Today we are diving into the best career options for students from CBSC, ICSC, IB and Cambridge curriculum backgrounds. Whether you are in humanities, commerce or science, we have got you covered with top job opportunities, salary ranges and how quickly you can start earning both in India and abroad. In this video, we will focus on these five key points. First being streamwise careers, second top designations, third job opportunities, fourth salary ranges. And fifth one is the approximate time it takes to start earning. And stick around until the end for the bonus. I'll be sharing a complete list of fee structures for each course in India and abroad. Let's break it down field by field, starting with humanities. So moving on to the first section, that is for humanities students. Humanities students, you are often the storytellers and the analysts and the diplomats of the world. Let's explore some top careers you can pursue. So the first career option that humanities students have is journalist or news analyst. The designation that you will get is of senior reporter, news anchor. Job opportunities, Indian media houses like uh, Times of India, NDTV, international media houses like BBC, CNN. The salary range, if we talk about that in India, it is around 3 lakhs to 6 lakhs per year for freshers and $50,000 to $80,000 per year abroad. Of course, it depends upon the organization you are working with and also it depends upon your expertise and your skill. Now, if I talk about the time to start earning, Typically, four years after 12, bachelors in journalism or mass communication. Now, here in this particular case, I would highly suggest you to get these degrees from abroad because as far as my expertise is concerned in this area, in India, the uh, type of uh, education imparted for these degrees is not up to the mark. So, it's always good to get into a very good universities abroad for these degrees. Now, moving on to the second career option that is of a psychologist or a counsellor for humanities student. Now, the designation that you get is clinical psychologist or school counsellors and the job opportunities we can talk about this in Indian hospitals or private clinic in India. And also, I would specifically talk about Indian schools. For example, IB or IG Cambridge schools specifically have psychologists. Or you can also form your own organization wherein you are helping different, connecting with different organization and imparting this services of as a counselor. Global organizations like WHO and private practices abroad, it is extensively done in abroad because this is one of the career booming tremendously abroad. Of course, it will take some time in India to boom, but yes, the process has already started. Now the next part in this is salary range. It, for the fresher, we can talk about somewhere around 4 to 8 lakhs a year in India and 40,000 to $70,000 per year abroad. And when I talk about time to start earning as a psychologist is minimum around 6 to 7 years after 12. You have to complete your bachelor's and master's in psychology. Again, again, I will tell over here is for humanities in India, there are no great options. If you are a humanities student, please make sure you get into universities abroad. Okay. Now the next third career option is civil services or foreign services. Now designation over here is IAS officer or ISS officer. So basically cracking UPSC exams in India if you are preparing in India only. Now in this case, you will get an option of job opportunities in Indian government positions at diplomatic roles in Indian embassies abroad. When we talk about salary range, it is 6 to 12 lakhs per year in India. And obviously it will increase uh, with respect to your uh, position and experience. And of course, for uh, diplomatic positions abroad, it will vary. Now when I talk about the time to start earning for this particular uh, job position, it is 5 to 6 years after 12, you will need to do bachelor's degree and plus need to crack UPSC exam 
which is another big deal. Cracking UBSC exam is not an easy task, but yes, if you are up to it and if you are passionate about it, then go for it. Now moving on to the second section of my video, that is I'm going to help commerce students with the career options they can choose. And when I again talk about commerce in India, except being a CA, even if you're CA, getting a year degree abroad or a certification from universities abroad is definitely going to add to your CV tremendously. So commerce students, you guys are future business leaders and financial gurus. And here are some top career paths for you. When I talk about the first career option, it goes without saying that you can be chartered accountant, that is CA. And designation is financial analyst, senior accountant. Now, when I talk about job opportunities, big four accounting firms in India, let me know in the comments what are they. And global opportunities like Deloitte, PwC, Ernst and Young. Now, these are a few options that I have talked about, but obviously there are many more industries in the market. But when you get a tag of big four firms, it is going to be great boon for you in your city. When I talk about salary range, it is going to be 7 lakhs to 12 lakhs per year in India. That is the starting salary range. And abroad, it will be $60,000 to one lakh twenty thousand dollars abroad. When I talk about time to start earning, it is around five to six years after twelfth CA course and plus CA course completion. Again, tracking CA exam in India is not a small task. You need to definitely be really passionate about it to crack that exam. Now, moving on to the second career option for commerce student, it is going to be investment banking. And not only commerce student, many engineers nowadays after completing the engineering, they are going on to this option, especially anybody doing engineering from India, because this is one of the highest paying option across the globe. Now the designation for career as investment banker is going to be analyst or associate. Job opportunities, Indian banks like ICICI, SBI, and international banks like Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, etc. So when I talk about starting salary range for this particular option with the right skill and degrees, again investment banking, let me tell you, get it done from abroad. No scope in India currently. We need to definitely up the game of educational institutions in India for this investment banking career. So salary range if I'm talking about is 8 lakh to 15 lakhs a year in India and dollar seventy thousand to dollar one lakh fifty thousand a year abroad. Now when I talk about time to start earning, it is typically five years after twelve, that is bachelor in commerce or finance, plus you have to do MBA. Now if you're getting MBA done from abroad, you need to have at least one to two years of working experience that is mandatory. So two to three years is great, but working experience is something that is crucially important to get an MBA degree abroad. Third career option for commerce student is going to be marketing managers. Designation is going to be brand manager, digital marketing manager. And job opportunities, again, like Indian companies like Hindustan, Unilever, Tata, local companies like Google, Amazon, there are multiple companies offering job opportunities, but it is always good to get into the most reputed ones, even if it is at the lowest position to start with in a very uh, basic salary range. But it will help you to get a good tag on your CV and a good jump after that company. So salary range is somewhere around 6 lakhs a year to 10 lakhs a year in India and $60,000 to $110,000 per year abroad. When I talk about time to start earning, it is 4 to 5 years after 12, bachelor's in marketing, management and MBA optional. Okay. Now commerce is all about numbers, strategies leading to some of the most lucrative career out there and that takes me to my third stream that is your science stream and the most desired stream in India. So when I talk about science stream, science students, you are innovators and the problem solvers and the pioneers in technology and medicine and here are some top career choices for you. So the first career option that we are going to talk about is being a medical student or completing your MBBS. The designation of course you get is as a general physician or a specialist. Especially after MBBS, people opt for the super speciality courses. So it definitely requires rigorous study and rigorous passion about your profession. Job opportunities, obviously like Indian hospitals like AIMS, Apollo, global hospital like Mayo Clinic and NHS in UK. Salary range we can talk about is 10 to 15 lakhs per year in India at $80,000 to $200,000 dollars 
per year abroad. When we talk about time to start earning around 7 to 8 years after 12, MBBS completion plus residency. Now moving on to the next career option for science student, it is going to be software engineer. So designation here is software developer or system engineer and the job opportunities in Indian tech companies like Infosys, TCS, Global Giants like Microsoft, Google, etc. So when I talk about the salary range, it is going to be 6 to 12 lakhs a year in India and $70,000 to $150,000 per year abroad. Now when I talk about time to start earning, it is typically 4 years after 12, but again, you have to get a bachelor's degree in computer science, but that is not mandatory. I have already shot a very good, good video on how to get hired into tech firms without a tech degree by only gaining the right certification, working on the right projects and working with the right companies. Do check that out, I will link it in the description. The next career option for science student is again a biotechnologist or a research scientist. Designation, if I have to talk about research scientist or a project manager and job opportunities, Indian research institutes like CSIR or private firms international labs and universities like MIT, Harvard. Now when I talk about salary range, it is going to be 5 lakhs per year in India to $60,000 to $120,000 per year abroad. And time to start earning is around 5 to 6 years after 12, which is bachelor's plus master's in biotech and biomedical sciences. Again, I always give this advice to my students that please make sure to get some exposure to global uh, market by getting some uh, education, degrees, uh, work experience, internship projects, whatever from abroad that will help you to get an idea of how things work not only in a particular country but across the globe. Now the next thing that we are going to talk about is science offers a range of dynamic options and impactful careers making significant contributions in the society and if you are planning to get into this you should target top institutes in India like IITs and IIMs or getting a degree in the universities abroad. And ultimately, whether you are in humanities, commerce or science, the key to find a career that not only pays well but also aligns with your passion and skills, remember, the journey to your dream job starts with the right choices today. And most important thing is you have to make sure that you are actually passionate about what you want to do in life and do not hesitate to reinvent in life. Sometimes we need to reinvent to get on the right track and direction. And before you go on, let's check out the bonus section, the complete free structure for each course in India and abroad. So what I have done over here is in the bonus section, I have shared a link in the description below with the complete list of courses with the right free structures in India and abroad, with the top institutes in India and abroad. And do not forget to get into my community to stay updated with such great information and knowledge that would help you grow in your career. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Stay tuned. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Karishma.